A stroke, also known as a cerebrovascular accident, CVA, is a medical condition that occurs when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted or reduced, leading to the deprivation of oxygen and nutrients to brain cells. This lack of blood flow can cause brain cells to start dying within minutes. Strokes are considered a medical emergency because they can result in significant disability or even death if not promptly treated. An ischemic stroke is the most common type of stroke, accounting for approximately 85% of all stroke cases. It occurs when a blood clot or plaque buildup obstructs or narrows a blood vessel, reducing or completely blocking the blood flow to a part of the brain. As a result, the affected brain cells do not receive adequate oxygen and nutrients, leading to their injury or death. There are two main subtypes of ischemic stroke. Thrombotic stroke. This type of ischemic stroke occurs when a blood clot, thrombus, forms within one of the arteries supplying blood to the brain. The clot typically forms at the site of atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of fatty deposits, plaque, on the inner walls of blood vessels. Embolic stroke. An embolic stroke happens when a blood clot or other debris, such as a piece of plaque, forms elsewhere in the body, often in the heart, and travels through the bloodstream until it becomes lodged in a narrower artery within the brain. The clot or debris obstructs the blood flow, causing an ischemic A hemorrhagic stroke is a type of stroke that occurs when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures or leaks, leading to bleeding in or around the brain. It is less common than an ischemic stroke but tends to be more severe and life-threatening. There are two main types of hemorrhagic stroke. Intracerebral hemorrhage. This type of hemorrhagic stroke occurs when a blood vessel within the brain ruptures and causes bleeding into the surrounding brain tissue. The bleeding damages brain cells and creates pressure within the brain, which can lead to further injury. Subarachnoid hemorrhage. A subarachnoid hemorrhage happens when there is bleeding in the space between the brain and the thin tissues that cover it, subarachnoid space. It is often caused by the rupture of a weakened or bulging blood vessel known as an aneurysm. The blood released from the ruptured vessel spreads into the subarachnoid space, potentially causing damage to the brain and its surrounding structures. Common symptoms of a stroke can include Sudden weakness or numbness in the face, arm, or leg, particularly on one side of the body. Sudden confusion or difficulty understanding speech. Sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes or experiencing double vision. Sudden dizziness, loss of balance, or coordination difficulties. Sudden severe headache with no known cause. Face drooping. One side of the face may droop or feel numb. When asked to smile, the smile may appear uneven or lopsided. Arm weakness. One arm may become weak or numb. When asked to raise both arms, one arm may drift downward or be unable to be held up. Speech difficulties. Speech may become slurred or difficult to understand. The person may have trouble finding the right words or be unable to speak at all. Time to call emergency services. If someone shows any of these signs, it is crucial to call emergency services immediately. Time is of the essence in stroke treatment, and prompt medical attention can significantly improve outcomes. Some common approaches to stroke treatment. Ischemic stroke treatment. Thrombolytic therapy. If the ischemic stroke is diagnosed early, within a few hours of symptom onset, Thrombolytic medications such as tissue plasminogen activator, TPA, may be administered. These drugs help dissolve the blood clot causing the stroke, restoring blood flow. Mechanical thrombectomy. In some cases, a procedure called mechanical thrombectomy may be performed. This involves using a catheter to physically remove or break up the clot, allowing blood flow to resume. Hemorrhagic stroke treatment. Controlling bleeding. The first step in treating a hemorrhagic stroke is to control bleeding and reduce pressure on the brain. Medications, blood pressure management, and other measures may be used to achieve this. Surgical interventions. 
surgery may be necessary to repair ruptured blood vessels, remove blood clots, or address underlying issues such as aneurysms or arteriovenous malformations, AVMs. Supportive care and monitoring. Stroke unit care. Stroke patients are often admitted to specialized stroke units or intensive care units, ICUs, for close monitoring and specialized care. Vital sign and neurological monitoring. Regular monitoring of vital signs, brain function, and neurological status is essential to detect changes and ensure appropriate interventions. Medications. Various medications may be prescribed to manage symptoms, prevent complications, and address underlying conditions such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and irregular heart rhythms. Re Rehabilitation and Recovery Physical Therapy Physical therapy helps patients regain strength, balance, and coordination. Occupational Therapy Occupational therapy focuses on improving daily living skills and restoring independence. Speech Therapy Speech therapy helps individuals regain communication skills and address swallowing difficulties. Rehabilitation programs. Comprehensive stroke rehabilitation programs encompass various therapies and services tailored to the individual specific needs.